Hey everybody, how's everybody doing today? Hope everybody had a great, wonderful day or having a great, wonderful day. Coming out, back on the mill. Uh, getting a little closer to getting uh, trying to shake soap quarters done. Shed quarters. Shed, shed quarters. Shed quarters done. Excuse me. Uh, yeah, we're, uh, we got all the sheetrock up uh, on the walls and on the ceiling. Uh, well, insulation, of course, in it. And Shana was wanting kind of to do some uh, wood trim pieces all in there. Uh, Batting strips. To kind of give it a, a, a different kind of look. So I was like, okay, sure, we can do that, we can do that. Give it a different look, don't have to float and tape, your choice. Uh, that, that too. Mudding, floating, taping, that is like the job nobody wants to do <laughs> and yeah. I hate it so to cover the cracks in the seams between the pieces of sheetrock I want to put up batting strips make so, it easier for me that and you know we're thinking it might give it a little different look so yeah. um, she's thinking about painting them I'm thinking about keeping them the regular color you know the regular wood look so if uh, it leave that down below to, to see what you think about that if it were just like say our outdoor kitchen or something like that i would say leave it wood but because we're actually going to start a second channel with this soaping and i just want everything white nice and clean so with that information now leave your comments below but to give it nice character you want a nice wood look too anywho though and i know y'all probably don't want yet another milling video but we promised in the very beginning we would bring you along to show you what we do on our homestead and how we're progressing. And this is just part of the process, but y'all like milling videos, right? I know we do. I love it. And and also just to kind of show you, it's great. You know, you go to the lumber store, the big box stores and stuff, and the wood that's there, well, that's what you got to get. And then you got to take it back home. And, and if you wanted it something different, well, you got you got to, put it on your saws and everything else, you know, like normal. At least this way, I can take one log and get all kinds of different sizes out at one time that I need. So it's great because I'm gonna need some little batting strips she's talking about. So I'm gonna make those kind of thin. But then I also need some like window trim and things like that so I can make that, you know, a little thicker than I'm gonna plan on doing. We need I mean, a lot of little things for a lot of projects. Oh, you know, and so I've got, what's great, I love about having my, my little just low end grade, I mean, this little low end grade mill works really nice because. I don't, it, I don't think it's so low grade. Well, it's the cheap model. It is the, it is the, the least, smaller. The smallest model of, of this the woodland brand. mills. That's the, that's what he's trying to say. Well, I mean, well, when you go to the bigger ones, they get more expensive. So it's a cheaper they, version. They do get more expensive. We I love know. this mill. We couldn't say anything better about it. Oh, because I, just just with this thing, just with a little time, and man, I probably I probably even haven't put five gallons worth of fuel for this thing yet. So really, in all in all, it's just it's plus to me. It's it's, it's a comforting experience. It's relaxing. He likes to play. Don't let him lie. And that's relaxing and comforting, right? Y'all know what I'm talking about. But so that's what I'm saying. It's, it's great to be able to just customize everything, you know, a, a bunch of wood you need just out of one log, you know. So, and Lord knows we have plenty on this property. We got tons, so.
Oh boy. Ah, another hard day on the mill, right? Yeah, no. It's just too much fun. So, that's what I said. I love about the mill. I can custom make all my stuff. You know, normally I just kind of shave it down little by little when I first got the log on there, but I got this, you know, something's up in my head that seems like it's going to be a good idea. It's working out there. I never know what he has planned. So I was cutting my, the top ones a little thick, you know, to have the curve, because I'm thinking about using those as like a fence board for some of the animals, and I'm thinking, you know, they might probably appreciate that, that look. I don't know. Uh, plus, I thought it was a good way to use those top pieces, I think. Maybe. Yeah. And then I was able, I got them about six and a half inches wide, Got me some that are about uh, about five eighths, but three of them about five eighths. I got uh, what did we end up with? Nine, nine that I did at about three eighths, and you know a little shrinkage, and they're about six and a half inches wide, like I said. And then I ended up with basically a a two by six left over to use for something. We'll use it. You know, I always use it. And if not, I can rip it down to a two by four and have another little piece left over for something. But that's why I said it was great. I, I can kind of mill it to where I want to. And of course, you know, if you're going to go like I'm going to, I'm going to go put it on a planer probably, you know, just to kind of make it look even not so rough looking, you know, the rough cut look. Um, so it's great, like I said, just to customize my wood. And that way, because I only need those little those little strips in there to be thin. So I'll take those six and a half and probably cut them into, you know, three different sections, you know, maybe two inch wide or something, you know, strips that she needs for the shop. So I can get three strips on each board later. Just gonna wait for a little bit of the shrinkage to happen. So you always wanna make it a little bit thicker than what you're what you're going for. So that for shrinkage and if you're gonna plane it down of course and things like that. So I think that should be enough of the pieces I need actually to put up in there. So, so hey Thanks again, along. Thanks again for coming along today. I really appreciate it. Hopefully, uh, you enjoyed it. I know I did, and uh, can't wait to see you until next time. Later. Take care. Ooh.